Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. Um, if you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and every single Sunday you can come here for a motivational video for your week ahead to get rid of the Sunday scaries. I usually put up cleaning, organizing, cooking, you name it, but today this video has been highly requested by you and this is a car clean and organize. So my car is a complete disaster. We have three kids all under the age of four. They like to snack in our car. We've been to the beach multiple times. It's a mess, so don't judge me. All right, let's take a look at the before of this vehicle. Like I said, don't judge me. Okay, so the front seats are not that bad, but just wait until you see the back seats where the kids sit. It's actually kind of scary. I'm really excited to show you what I did back here organization-wise because it came out really good and really seems like it'll be super useful. And now for the back seat, it is just disgusting. After filming this video and cleaning out the car, I seriously don't want to see another goldfish for at least two weeks. I really feel like cars can get dirty really fast and really easily. I'm going to try to keep it clean as best as I can, but I want to know how often do you guys clean your car and put it through the car wash? So let's get started. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. I'm also going to show you what I keep in my car for all of my kids to have on hand and just emergencies and things like that. Um, I'm also going to show you a couple of cool little things that I got to go in my car that I think that you will really like. Um, I'm actually really excited to be cleaning my car because it just really needs it and I want to have it nice and clean for back to school. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing is just going in the car, taking absolutely everything out, even the car seats. Um, I'm going to make a pile of things that I want to bring into the house, a pile of things that I want to keep in the car, and then I have the trash can out so I can just throw things away. And this is the face I make when I get caught having McDonald's french fries in the car.
I'm taking everything out of my glove box because I'm going to throw some things away, just check expiration dates and things like that. And then in one bag, I will put all of the items that I want to keep in my glove box. Finally, I'm going to take the car seats out of the car and this is just so I can clean out underneath of them and a lot of food gets stuck under them and on the sides of them. So I'm taking all of that out and I'm going to vacuum the car seats out too. I get questions all the time about how I can fit three car seats in the back of my Jeep Grand Cherokee and that is because they are the Graco Slim Fits. I'll have them linked in the description box below. And then Ella still has the Uppa Baby, but I plan on getting her um, the Slim Fit as well. The next step is to vacuum the entire car. Um, before I do that, I'm just picking up like the really big pieces of like full-size pretzels and full-size goldfish and stuff like that. And this nasty french fry from like weeks ago that still looks perfectly normal, which is actually kind of disturbing. So I'm starting in the back of the car and then I'll make my way up to the front. You'll see here that I'll be using a little brush. You can use any kind of brush to just kind of get the dirt or sand or hair, whatever you're trying to vacuum up to the surface. Um, the brush that I'm using doesn't belong to this vacuum, but that's because I lost the original attachment, but any kind of brush will work. Now I'm just breaking out the Dyson and some Q-tips to really get in there and get all the sand out of the little crevices. And I was actually wondering what kind of vacuum you have and what vacuum you would recommend. I've had this vacuum for a while now. I believe it's the Dyson V7 and it's kind of just like losing its power and I need something new. Uh, I was debating getting one of the newer Dysons or maybe a Shark, but I would love some recommendations.
Now that that's finally done, I'm just like getting in there even more and shaking out what I can. You could have done this before and after, but I just did it after. And now that the trunk is finally finished, I'm taking the mats out and just dumping all of the crumbs and stuff into the trash can before I go ahead and vacuum everything. And I'm also going to be shampooing these mats. Sadly, my new couch does not give me the ability to get vacuum lines, so I'm getting my vacuum line satisfaction through my car cleaning. Now I'm doing the same thing with the brush again, but I'm kind of just brushing everything to the center since there's so many more crumbs in this part of the vehicle. And then again, breaking out that Dyson for those little crevices that the shop vac cannot reach. Moving into the front seat, I'm doing that exact same thing, taking the mats out first and then I'll go ahead and vacuum, but first I have to move the seats back. Thank you. 
I'm actually going to use a piece of tape to get all of those little crumbs out that I cannot get with the vacuum. Finally, I'm going to clean out the car seats. I'm just giving them a little shake first and getting the 15 pounds of goldfish and pretzels out. Um, and then I will be vacuuming them. You can take the covers of car seats off and just throw them into the washer, but I needed mine to be dry, so I couldn't do that. So I just shook out the mat that now I'm vacuuming and then I'm going to be shampooing them. Next, I'm just going to wipe down the interior mirrors and interior windows. Um, I'm not doing the outside of the car because I actually have like a $9 a month membership. You should see if your car wash has that where you get unlimited car washes. Um, also because my kids think it's the best thing ever and I think that's kind of what sold me on it. And we cannot forget to clean Ella's little mirror. Um, if you guys are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really does mean so much to us. Step five, we're gonna clean and protect all of the surfaces. So the first thing I'm using is an interior detailer. And then after that, I'll be using like a protectant. But I just have to tell you, this stuff smells so good. I even told my husband, I'm like, we need to get a cologne that smells like this. That's how good it is, guys. I got it from Walmart. This stuff is the stuff that I'm talking about. The air freshening car protectant. You need it in your life. <laughs> Thank you. 
So for step six, we're just putting everything back together. I got this cute little glitter pink bag from the Dollar Tree and I'm just putting everything in there and then putting it back into my glove box. And then I got these awesome cute little car coasters. They are leopard and I absolutely love how they look. I'll have them linked in the description box below, but they make me really happy. <laughs> Okay, and I got this awesome crate at Lots of Style. Um, they do ship internationally, which is awesome, but I'll have the link below as well. But how cool is this that it just like folds flat down and you don't need it, and then you just pop it right back up. It's super compact, and I love it. I just wanted to show you what was in this little crate that I got from Ikea and I put it inside of that little box I was just talking about but I just have like an extra binky, a garbage bag, some tape, an ice pack, sunblock, um, hand sanitizer, and scissors. The tape and scissors and stuff are because I have often like a lot of packages to send out for Poshmark or things like that and I always forget to bring that kind of stuff with me so that's why that's in there. I also forgot to show you in this video, but I have a little first aid kit um, that goes in here as well with like band-aids and neosporin and stuff like that. But I love having this little bucket with napkins in it. It also has like a picnic blanket for those impromptu picnic dates. Now this little organizer goes on the back seat of a the front seat as you can see here. This is also from Lots of Style. Um, right now I'm only using one. And that's because Carter is in the middle seat, so he can't have his own. So we're just putting one over here for now. Um, if When Ella is turned around, she will have one on her side as well. And then, of course, just my little Yankee Candle Air Freshener in Vanilla Cupcake. Step seven is enjoy your clean car. Make sure you get your kids Ubers wherever you need to go. Um, because clearly they can never go back in your car again if you ever want it to look like this. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it gave you some great motivation for your week ahead. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and please let me know what you want to see this upcoming Sunday on my channel. Whenever your heart is broken.